A Bay Area doctor says too many young patients are being forced to wait for a medicine that could improve their lives. So he's writing a guide to help families to get registered for medical marijuana as fast as possible. Reporter Ryan Smith live tonight in Hillsborough County. Ryan. Well, local doctor telling me tonight that many of his patients and their parents are simply stuck playing the waiting game, waiting on the Florida Department of Health as they are trying to access medical marijuana. Because he doesn't know what to do with that pain, it can be aggressive. Elizabeth Wilson didn't know where to turn next. She says countless medications failed her son who has severe autism. Because of these seizures and headache episodes that that result in, in um, behaviors that I, as a single mom with two other daughters, can't keep safe and controlled. Her hope soared when Florida lawmakers approved medical marijuana, but she says getting a registry card has been a nightmare. We were let down by the systems that are in place right now. A four week process took her four months. What other medication is it that your doctor says, I think this would be good for you, and then the doctor says, check in with me in a month? I mean, nobody would tolerate that. Dr. David Berger says the medical marijuana demand is growing for pediatric patients, children who are forced to wait because their parents and caregivers can't get the certifications they need because the state health department is struggling to process thousands of requests. Right now it is a big problem, but at least there's some things that people can do to speed things up a little bit. That's why he created this guide breaking down how to receive a state issued registry card without wasting time. In any other situation, it's easy to be patient, but when you see your child hurting themselves and unable to participate in life or go to school. And the Department of Health telling me tonight that they are processing, get this, between 3,000 and 4,000 applications for medical marijuana every single day. Now, they wouldn't comment if there is currently a backlog only stating that if an application is incomplete, it could take longer than 30 days. We want to mention we'll also be posting Dr. Berger's suggestions online at abcactionnews.com. Live tonight in Tampa, Ryan Smith, ABC Action News.